So with Metaphor Refantasio launching last week to a huge 1 million plus in sales pretty much right after launch with pre-orders, shipments, digital sales, all of that. People have been talking, and I actually made a video about this too, but people have been talking about the impact of Microsoft's marketing deal for a new IP like this. Did it have a negative impact on potentially getting to more customers when it comes to PlayStation because there were numerous different parts or different marketing things that atlas did that refused to show that this game was coming to playstation 5 despite maybe that being the place where most people were going to buy this game so it brought up a little bit of a firestorm of different tweets and comments and videos from fans alike so essentially what we're going to do here is that i wanted to wait before i said really anything too much on this i did make a video before talking about how there was some concern because the people that i follow that are into xbox a lot are not talking about this game at all and it's getting up towards launch and i wanted to wait before i said anything else but now we have a little bit more information that shows that maybe just maybe metaphor refantasio flopped on the xbox platform but it's still early we're gonna get into that and a bit more with the game but before we do what's good everyone oj here welcome back to another video please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my Nintendo Switch RPG videos and more first. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video talking about what's happening with Metaphor Refantasio on Xbox. So this was a post that I first saw on Twitter, but then I investigated it a little bit more just because I'm not as familiar with the Xbox charts and how things work, but I tried to do my best to kind of research everything before I go into this. So essentially, Microsoft, if you go on their official Microsoft Store page, you can search results for the charts. You can look at coming soon, game demo, all sorts of stuff and you can go for top paid games so this includes the games that people are actually paying for buying there's this i would say stereotype or stigma that xbox gamers don't buy as many games because of game pass and because of various different things obviously the install base isn't as high as nintendo switch or playstation there's like a whole bunch of reasons why you can say that or not but essentially game pass is one of the big reasons why which yeah, I would say that Game Pass is definitely an inhibitor for some in order to buy games. A lot of people just want games to come to Game Pass. So it's not everybody, but it's some. So right now at this point, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is doing absolutely incredible. People are buying that on Xbox, at least according to what Microsoft is saying. It's the top paid game results. This is not on Game Pass. It's $70. And there are multiple versions of Dragon Ball Sparking. Right in at number one, you see it in at number one. You see it in as well later here in the top 10. Then there's another version of it within the top 20 or 30 or so. And you're looking through this and you're like, okay, well, where's Metaphor Refantasio? And that's what I'm doing. I'm looking through it. I see a bunch of other games. I see Grand Theft Auto. I see all sorts of stuff. Predator, Minecraft, Red Dead, Grand Theft Auto Online, Subnautica, Kingdom Come, Tomb Raider, Remastered. You see all this stuff, even Grand Theft Auto 4. Hades, all sorts of stuff. And then finally, near the bottom of the top 50, because that's what they do. They do the top 50. You see Metaphor Refantasio with the $70 price tag right next to Mad Max and Silent Hill HD Collection. Now, guys, listen, I don't know how much it's sold at this point, but I would say this. I don't think Mad Max and Silent Hill HD Collection are massive sellers on Xbox, just considering how old those games are and where they are on the position here. So that's definitely not a good thing starting out. You don't want to see a brand new release game of the year type of game that you have the marketing for all the way in here at 37. Now, once again, the Xbox charts are a little bit weird. Microsoft doesn't actually say sales numbers for any of their games or really any of the third party games. It's up to the third parties to say that. And many of them don't mention the splits between Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. I mean, some do but a lot don't so we don't really know here but this is definitely not a good start when they have the exclusive marketing rights and even with some of the content creators and people that were making videos they only mentioned pc and xbox now the good news which we're going to talk about just a bit is that it seems like pc is popping off a bit i think it's peaked around 80 something thousand i think like 85 or 86 thousand units in terms of the player count so that's definitely very good so obviously atlas is probably happy with the amount of people that are playing the game and purchase the game on the pc because we can put a number 
to the actual game whereas this year can't really do that here when it comes to xbox and i doubt that being number 37 or so right by mad max and silent hill is doing very good especially when dragon ball sparking zero has three versions of the game ahead of it three separate versions one of them is a hundred dollars the other one is a hundred and nine dollars then the other one is seventy dollars so you have multiple versions of sparking zero ahead of metaphor refantasio and obviously they launched the same day so that could have been a problem too overall people were just more excited to play sparking zero it's the bigger franchise so maybe it kind of lost out on there now another thing that we can look at we can look at the amazon sales charts which i don't take too much stock into with xbox because xbox is a heavy digital platform at this point nintendo switch is the most physical platform when it comes to selling games and then playstation is after that then xbox is a very very distant third place when it comes to that then obviously pc we're not counting that but when it comes to consoles but on amazon it's not doing too good either if you look at the overall for metaphor refantasio it's in at number 38 in the launch week that's not good now if you compare that to playstation PlayStation Metaphor Refantasio is the number two game. Number three overall when it comes to new releases, number two game. So definitely Metaphor is doing significantly better, it seems, on the PlayStation platform at this point on PC. But I guess you can say, hey, well, they were advertising it for PC and Xbox. PC seems to be doing okay. But this is what people were talking about overall with the advertising. Most people are probably going to buy it on playstation yet it's not being advertised to playstation fans as much and obviously the nintendo switch 2 is not out at this point there is credible information that it is going to come to the nintendo switch 2 but right now the system's not out so really playstation and pc but playstation when it comes to console is going to be where most people seem to be buying the game based off the information that's available right now the low rankings overall on the top paid on microsoft's charts and it's into the high rankings on amazon and of course we have to wait and see what psn says as well where high it ranks there but that one million that it said that it sold i saw a lot of xbox fans on twitter it was an overwhelming success people were worried about the marketing and i think that yeah like it was a success but it might have not been due to the actual xbox platform itself who maybe didn't know about it because there were so many times that maybe they looked at some media or they looked at somebody talking about it and they only mentioned the pc and xbox now of course you can do your due diligence and research and easily see that it's coming through playstation 5 and playstation 4 it's not even on xbox one it's only on xbox series s and x plus pc but at the same time there are some people who do just miss out on stuff i had a number of people before launch i mean about like a week or so before launch think that this game is xbox's persona and that it wasn't even coming to playstation 5 i actually made a quote tweet on that on twitter and said hey well hold up here guys like xbox has the marketing and brand deal for it so that's good, at least for them, or at least they think that it's good. It's good enough for them to pay for it. But at the same time, the game is still coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So if you want to play it on there, you can for sure. And potentially even the Nintendo Switch 2 based on some rumors that are out there, which I do think that's going to happen. So it's one of those things at this point to where, yeah, like Xbox and JRPGs don't necessarily mesh as well. That's not something to where they sell a ton of copies. It's always going to be more of the lower share when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Nintendo. Xbox is probably going to be where the least amount of people buy the actual big JRPGs just because of various different things that has happened over the course of time overall with the Xbox platform. So that's kind of what's going on right there, you guys. You guys can let me know in the comment section but let's get into a couple more things when it comes to Metaphor Refantasio. And it's actually a nice little fix. This is something that I feel that they should actually do for the console version. So I'm appealing to Atlas to get this done overall. But Metaphor Refantasio, there is a mod on PC that enables ultra wide so you can see way more of the game when you're playing so if you have a nice ultra wide monitor it actually helps that out but then it also disables the dash speed lines and the blur so that is something that if you directly look or at least not even you but if i directly look at the blur when i'm running or kind of shift my eyes it kind of makes me a little bit nauseous with the speed lines and the blur so i wish that i could actually remove that 
on my PlayStation 5 version of the game, but I cannot. Shout out to the RPG site. They actually talked about this. So they did say that if you find the speed lines when dashing to the game to be bothersome, the mod does allow you to disable it. Now, there's other useful features that they're adding into the game, which includes skipping all the logos when booting up the game, which the logos do take a little bit of time, and letting people finally tune the level of detail, distance, ambient occlusion resolution, shadow resolution, Solution and more now there's more details on this on rpg site i'll have a link for you guys in the description it's pretty simple overall in terms of downloading the zip files and getting it on github and doing what you need to do in order to extract and put it into the folders so i'll have that but this is something that i think atlas should definitely look into doing when it comes to the blur lines and the speed lines because those are a little bit annoying i don't necessarily like when those blur lines and those speed lines are are all there so i'm hoping that atlas definitely fixes that at least gives you the option to toggle it when it comes to metaphor refantasio and that just because it's just a little bit annoying and like i said if i look directly at it like or if i shift my eyes towards it it makes me a little nauseous and all that so i don't know why they're putting the blur lines on there like i know he's running fast but how fast is he actually running like is he running like sonic fast i'm not sure what's going on there so i don't know why they put the blur lines like that um but you do have your sword that you can do that you can kind of like skateboard on or hoverboard on so there is that but we'll see what atlas does when it comes to patches and performance and all that but what do you guys think overall about metaphor refantasio the game are you playing it how do you like it what's good what's bad let me know in the comment section below all right guys that wraps it up for this video here thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys for the next one peace